Wilmington police say an innocent bystander was shot and killed. Investigators say 43-year-old Crystal Brown left a market on North Adams Street at about 9.45 and encountered several people fighting in the street. A gunman then fired multiple shots into the crowd. Brown was hit in the chest. She was rushed to Christiana Hospital where she died. Anyone with information into the crime is asked to call Wilmington police. When I say pull up your pants and put down the gun. This is what we said. You know, in the community where they say drugs are running rampant. We've been on the street now for almost over five years, the peacekeepers have. But you know what? We did an assessment. In some of the communities that we walk in, if you take one block, 80% of the people on that block is out getting high. So, the drug pusher, he got high to him because the people on the block are getting high. So all we gotta do is get some people well. Yeah. Well, it ain't no market. They'll go away. They'll go away if ain't nobody buying no drugs there. That's right. Just like a mouse, if, it's, if you got some bushels on the floor and he keep coming out eating it, you clean up your floor, he stop coming. Everybody join in the circle of hands, holding hands with the power and the symbol of unity. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's hearts are open. And everybody's hearts are hurting. Would you join me in a moment of silence and then a prayer to the one who we call Creator? Today, O oh Lord, even though our hearts are heavy, we have here in our midst Crystal's family to give them faith to see in this terrible tragedy some blessing that you may have yet for them. And our sister, and our sister, we want you to know that we with you. And whatever we can do, you know, to bring you peace and comfort, sister, we with you, alright? So, yes, ma'am, did you want to say anything? I would like to say thank you for coming out and being this incredible. When you come out here to these rallies, 
and you, and you do a lot of this coming out supporting, man, we gotta take this same fire back in our communities. We can't be, we can't lay down no more. We can't act like we don't see stuff no more. And the mayor, he's doing a good thing right now. He's bringing boots to the streets. But the thing about those boots to the streets, you gotta watch when you throw that net what kind of fish you catch. Because there's a lot of brothers out here that's doing the right thing. And when he throw that net out there, we want to make sure that everybody just don't get caught up in that net. Because there's a lot of brothers and sisters out here that one word can change them. It can switch them. Yeah. One word can change them and it can switch them. I want to bring on Jeff Lott. He's a good brother. Just listen to what he got to say for a minute. us 
that it just makes it a, a lot easier to deal with. And I tell you for myself and for my family that we thank you. We thank you very much. And uh, that's probably what Christian would say also. And, uh, and, and uh, I, I just like to say that I love you all. And I think the day, or the day, day after my sister passed, uh, and I was interviewed by the uh, TV crew, and they asked me about the situation, about what happened and everything. And after all of that was done, I specifically remember saying that I don't know whether it was meant for her or was accidental, but the results were the same. But at the same time, and I guess it's just the God in me, at the same time that I wish no harm on that person. Right, right. Let God deal with that. Now, of course, I want him to come to justice. I want him to be responsible to come forward yeah. and answer for what he's done. But and I, 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 I wish no harm on that person. Because just like my sister, I don't care what happens. I don't think there's any reason in this world that a person has to take another person's life. Right. Nobody here should have to die because somebody else feels that they should. So, with that being said, and again, I just thank you for, for all the love that you've been showing myself and my, and my my family, and it's really helping my mother, and I know today that no matter what, that I have to be there for her, and I have to be the strength, because I see, you know I mean, my mother's weak, she's young, me just like everybody else, and as men, you know, if you know guys, we got to be a man, you know what I mean, and part of that is, just being there. It ain't really about having to do a whole lot of stuff but just being there. Where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there. But again, I just thank you, thank you guys for your support. You know, the mayor said he wanted to put more police officers in the community, which is a good thing. Yeah. But if we could just change the mindset of the people in the community that are buying the drugs in that block, the drug deal will go away. It is because there won't be no market. And, his, and all that gun shooting, the gun choking and everything will go away. Because all we're saying right now is what we say is Newton, Newton, and shoot. Oh. And that, it might sound funny. It might sound kind of funny. That, that's what we said. That's what we want to say. Put some jobs in the community. Yeah. I know you want to. We want to put some more police on. No, no disrespect. Oh, oh, God bless all here. Yes. And for my Muslim brothers and sisters, since we're in the season of Ramadan, may Allah bless and praise you. Take care of you. Yes, sir. I know it's tough, but you're all fasting, so we all appreciate that. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. It is awesome to see so many different kinds of people out here for one common cause. And also, I want to extend my condolences and ask God's mercy on the Brown family to take care of you in your grief and to ease your suffering. We're out here for a reason. We have gun violence in the city. Things are getting out of hand. But the answer is right here. Yeah. Right on this corner, yes. right now. Yes. We need you and us to become we. Yeah. Yeah. We can't have any more of this. Let the cops do it. No, we need your help. Because with the community and the police walking together, there's no force here in the city that can stop us. We need people to step up. Wilmington was one of the stops on the Underground Railroad. Yeah. Harriet Tubman said, I saved a thousand slaves. I could have saved a thousand more if they knew they were slaves. Oh. So we need some modern day Harriet Tubman. Step forward and let these people know they're in slavery. They're in slavery to violence, yeah. slavery to drugs, yeah. slavery into this culture that exalts the, the prison system with the pants hanging low, oh, the, chain, the, the violence. Yes. We need to fight that. We need you and me, them, us, everybody, stand together and end this so that Crystal Brown is the last one we have to come out for. But guess what? For any of the folks listening, we ain't going to stop. We are not going to stop. You're not going to stop us. This is our city. We're going to take it back. Amen. We're not going to.
a long way. This is an awesome city. We have some yes. unbelievable things yep. in this city. That's right. And we're not going to let a small percentage of the population yep. ruin it. No, they got to run. We ain't running anymore. So I won't take up any more anybody's time. But God bless you all. And Lord, say it with me. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Oh, say it with me. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. God bless. Thank you. Put some jobs into the community. Every time when they ask, what was the description? They say there was a black man with a, with a hood with a hood on his head. See, now we talk about the Ku Klux Klan, but now we the Ku Klux Klan. Then we got the black hood instead of the white hood on our head. I got to say it, man. It's up. Killing us. And leaving children motherless. And leaving fathers. Leaving children fatherless. And the man got to stand up. The man had to stand up. You got to stand up and take your rightful place, man. Nobody come in our community. And just the children run rapid. Just telling them what to do, putting fear in our hearts. I'm saying to the men, it's time to stand up. We ain't giving you no pass no more. We're going to revoke your ghetto pass. If you don't want to stand up and be a man. Okay? I know they don't like what we say, but sometimes the best medicine is hard. That's sour medicine. Okay? So I know you said Yeah, they're going to be a lady, and we're going to be a lady, and we're going to be a lady, and we're going to be a lady.